Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in advanced computer architecture is the Flynn's classical taxonomy. Actually, I already explained this video, uh, this concept in education for you channel, but there I had given only the concepts of SIMD, MIMD, MISD, SI, SISD. What the meaning of that? So in this session, I'm going to give you the clear clarification record. It means in depth how the architecture is designed and how the internal calculations are going on with an example we all know that the flens classical taxonomy uh, actually there are different ways to classify the parallel computing before going to flens classical taxonomy uh, let me tell you about we all know that that there are different ways to classify parallel computers we are talking about the parallel computers right or wrong a parallel computer computers so these parallel computers can be uh, classified different ways so one of the more most widely used is the flint's classical taxonomy Be means that means this flint's classical taxonomy is represented uh, the concept of parallel computer it is developed the concept of parallel computers okay so it what exactly it means it distinguishes the multi processor computer architecture according to how they can be classified along the two independent dimensions like the stream instruction stream and data stream means it is based on this flint's classical taxonomy it is based on two concepts what are the two concepts the two concept concepts are instruction stream instruction stream and data stream so based on these two concepts this flint's class uh, classical taxonomy was introduced so it distinguishes the multi processor computer architecture the main user here it's it is going to distinguish the multi processor computer architecture there are different types of uh, Flynn's classical taxonomies are there. One is SISD, single instruction, single data, single instruction, multiple data, SIMD, MISD, multiple instruction, single data, and multiple instruction, multiple data. So these are the four classifications uh, of the Flynn's, okay, which are used to distinguish the multi-processor computer architecture let me explain you one by one okay so now first have a look on this single instruction single data before going to uh, study with the concept always focus on what they are given this is sisd what is the meaning of single instruction single data that means only one instruction is there and we are using only a single data is there that means it is a non-parallel computer. You can take it as a non-parallel computer. Because no multiple data are there or no multiple instructions are there. So then you can go for the non-parallel computers. So like sequentially you can go. A single instruction, single data. That is it. So here if you see this diagram, this is the data pool and instruction pool. First let me clarify you what is the data and what is an instruction. Instructions are nothing but opcode opcodes means operation has to be performed like addition subtraction multiplication division store load means it's doing some operation okay that is an instruction instruction means doing some operation it's doing some operation on variables that is instruction then what is a data data is nothing but the operand which is given by the user like the variables the variables like a b c okay anything any variables which is given by the user that is the meaning of data pool this data is coming from the user and instruction pool instruction is nothing but the op code operation has to be performed so with the help of the instruction and the data the processing unit pu is a processing unit it is performing the operation okay we all know that the memory is divided into two type parts one holds the instruction and another holds the program data program data and the instruction data will be storing so this is a fixed one okay and here the user programming is storing here 
so all the opcodes relating to the instruction day instructions are stored in the memory so the memory is divided into two parts program and the instruction okay so now let's have a look on the single instruction single data so what it mean here i'm taking a program a load a means one variable and load b another variable both has to perform addition operation which is using the instruction add a plus b and again storing on c next i'm performing another operation and storing on a like that the operations are performing like this so here a single instruction is there i'm giving only the single data for that particular instruction this is what happening that means suppose here the instruction is the variables are a comma b and the instruction is addition i want to do a plus b here i am the user i am giving the values of a as 2 and b as 3 i am giving the values as a as 2 and b as 3 now the instruction is going to perform it has to 2 plus 3 so the information the processing unit what it is doing so it is going to add the two values and finally it is sending the result 5 okay so ab values it is sending and the instruction addition it is sending the opcode of the addition okay and the values of 2 3 is sending to the processing unit now the with the help of the ab values and the addition the processing unit is going to perform the operation this is what happening this is about the single instruction single data so this single instruction single data will be used in older generations not now in the older generations the single instruction single data will be using and in mini computers as well as mini computers as well as the mainframe computers are also worked on single instruction single data classification based on it is designed based on single instruction single data now coming to the next one next one is a single instruction multiple data if you clearly observe single instruction instruction is only one means suppose if you take the addition so addition is the only one uh, opcode so it is generating on multiple data multiple data means 2 3 4 5 6 it means different values is given by the user so in this case how the system is going to be respond and how you have to be designed so you have to be designed in that manner the user is giving multiple datas and the system is taking a, a single instruction it is generating okay see here in the program the previous instruction mean uh, the previous instruction address will be stored here means a connection should be there a connection should be there load a load a of 1 load b of 1 okay and i am doing multiplication here a1 b1 and storing a value in the 1 okay and next instruction next instruction address here so this address will be copied to the previous instruction so this address uh, next instruction means i need to go to this p2 and p2 is having p1 address and p1 is having uh, another address like that so this next instruction means p2 address will be storing here and here the p1 address will be storing here so from the the data is getting now the same equation the same multiplication i am doing instruction is single only single instruction multiple data 1 2 3 4 5 up to n you can take multiple data but performing only single instruction single instruction that is a multiplication i am doing so single instruction sorry uh, multiplication this is multiplication i am giving multiple data 1 2 3 4 5 and performing a single instruction okay so like this let me explain you with an example what type of example let me take let me take my operation here i am doing performing uh, addition only so i am giving multiple values 2 comma 2 4 comma 5 and some 3 comma 1 like that i am giving multiple uh, values processing unit processing unit processing unit and my instruction here is only one instruction that is addition a plus b i need to be performed okay so the processing unit first it is performing so p1 what it is doing the p1 is performing 2 plus 2 this is p1 let me take this is p1 okay p1 is performing 2 plus 2 and p2 is performing 4 plus 5 and processor 3 uh, performing 3 plus 1 so like that p4 is performing another operation so instruction is same 
but performing on multiple data. So again, what it is happening? This 4 plus 1, 2 plus 2 becomes 4 and 4 plus 5 becomes 9. Okay, again these two are performing. And finally, these two are performing. Let me take 1 comma 2, 1 plus 2. So, this is 3 plus 1, 4 plus 3. Okay, so again 4 plus 9 it's what? The 4 plus 9 is nothing but 13. 13 plus 4 plus 3, 7. And finally, your answer is 20. So, this is the way it is executing. The, by using single instruction multiple data, you are giving a multiple data and the instruction is only the addition. So, how it is internally it is performing, even though you are using different functional units, and finally, they are all connecting to each uh, all together and giving the final result. In this day, they are performing the operation. P1, P2, it's performing like this. And finally, you are getting the final answer. Now, coming to the next type of uh, instruction, that is multiple instruction, single data. Multiple instruction, single data. That means here I am giving only single data for all the type of instructions like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, load, store, whatever it may be. For all these instructions, I am giving only single data. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 like that. I am giving only single data. That is what the meaning of this. See here. Load A1. Here I am doing multiplication. Okay, with the same value 1. And next, it is connecting to the next processor, uh, PU unit. Okay, processing unit 1, processing unit 2. And here it is doing addition. And again, this is connecting to the next processing unit. And here it is doing another operation, load operation, something. Like that, each processing unit is performing a different uh, it's because of multiple instructions, a multiple instruction. But every processing unit is connecting with the another processing unit so that you will get the final result. Let's have an example here. So, let me take, uh, this is a single data. Let me take 2 comma 3 as my data. Okay. And here I am taking addition A plus B and here I am taking A into B. So, this first processing unit P1, what it is executing? So, the P1 is performing addition 2 plus 3 and P2 is performing multiplication 2 into 3 on same data, single data. Okay. And your thing is A plus B into A star B. So, the final answer should be A, in, A plus B into A star B you need to get. So, 2 plus 3, 2 star 3. So, this 2 plus 3 means what? 5 into 2 star 3 means 2 3 is a 6. Okay. And the final answer is 30. So, P1 is doing the addition and P2 is doing the multiplication. Again, these two will be perform connecting to one another and it is doing the multiplication because A plus B into A star B answer I need to get. So, this is the final answer. Multiple instructions. So, instructions are multiple but data is single only. Okay. And the final one is the multiple instructions, multiple data. Multiple instructions means each processing unit is performing a different uh, instructions. Like it is, it is doing addition and it is doing the multiplication. It is doing the division, subtraction, load, store, okay, compare, negate. Like that each uh, instruction, it's a multiple instructions. Multiple data. Multiple data means a different data is coming like a 2 comma 3, 3 comma 4 like that. A multiple data. Okay. Each processor separates instruction execution. So, here if you see this, this is doing the multiplication on different data and this is using some function call and on another data and it is doing the loop condition on another data. So, every processor is connecting with the another processor. Okay, so let me take a simple example here. I am taking just two processing units and uh, two instructions and two data. Suppose 5 comma 2 and 2 comma 3. Okay, so one processing unit is doing the addition and another processing is doing the multiplication like that. It is doing multiple things. Okay, so addition one processing unit P1 is doing 
5 plus 2. Okay, on the same data, it is let me take this is doing 5 into 2. And another processor is doing 2 plus 3 and 2 into 3 like that. Each processing unit is performing a different operation on multiple data. So, same data you can take, you can take the multiple data, whatever it may be. But performance is, operation is on multiple instructions on multiple data. So, this is about the Flynn's classification students. So, try to, uh, in the exams also, try to write uh, by taking the examples. Okay. So, first explain what is the Flynn's classification taxonomy. And then try to explain single instruction, single data. Take the program and try to implement the uh, functional unit structure. And with the help of the functional unit structure, try to substitute the values and perform the operation. How it is going to be worked how the single instruction, single data, single instruction, multiple data, multiple instruction, multiple data, multiple instruction, single data. Okay. Thank you.